Nehemiah chapter 1. Well, the Jews were in captivity in Babylon, it became Persia, and they actually were doing quite well there. They had become wealthy, that's why Haman wanted to kill all the Jews and take their money from them, because there would have been a huge amount of wealth there. And Cyrus then says, you can go back. All the Jews, please go back and rebuild your ruined city of Jerusalem and rebuild your ruined temple, exactly as the prophets had said would happen. But most of them wanted to stay in Babylon. The prophets said, flee Babylon. Run away from Babylon. Get out, lest you be consumed in her judgment. But most of them wanted to stay. Some did, however, leave. And Nehemiah says here, I asked about the Jews who had escaped from Babylon. He uses the language of escape. That actually getting out of that place was escape. But that's not how people perceived it at the time. Most of the Jews, millions it seems of them, remained there. And only a very few returned to Judah. Escaped to Judah. So, this is the whole thing. We are to escape this world. We are to perceive spiritual danger. That by being tied down in the mire of mediocrity, just stuck in the soft life, where it's easier to just go on and live the life you live today, to live that tomorrow, than make any radical change, let alone get out of it. You see, that is dangerous. Escape from Babylon. Flee for your life. From Babylon, that's what Isaiah says. And yet people didn't perceive that. They didn't perceive that actually to leave all that was to escape, to quit materialism, to quit the life of career and, and having the whatever it was, the latest cool gadget of Babylon and the latest house or whatever with a little mini hanging garden in it. Yeah. That was danger. Escape it. Flee from that and go to the ruins of Zion and rebuild God's house and, and build up the things of God's kingdom. Escape from all that other stuff. Nehemiah perceived that when he says, he talks about the Jews who had escaped. Escape from mediocrity. Escape from materialism. Escape from the soft life. That's the message. And do the work of God's kingdom.